Now, you got a lot of brands and a lot of people that say, OK, all I need to do is get this on one person, then I'm good forever. So, <laughs> you know, man, you know, it doesn't work like that. No. So, about what what was life like after Oprah? Um, I mean, well, that was to see this, or at least I knew myself. Like I had the internal fuel <laughs> to keep going. So I didn't have any um, disparities to where somebody wears it and something something crazy happens, you know, where it explodes or whatever. So I just knew that, you know, like, kind of like those, those secret things. Like, I'm like, oh, I knew this happened. So, you know, nobody knows. So I'm going to just keep going. They don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Like, even though they didn't see it, I know Oprah's in my bag. You know, like, you know, I know they know. you can't tell me nothing. And it's been like that for you know, a long time. Even when y'all see a lot of people, I'm like, oh, they bought that stuff. Like, they're like, she on everybody's back. They bought it. I'm like, I didn't even know. The only time it really did go crazy a little bit was when Zendaya wore it during the Women's March. She wore the Respect, Protect, Love the Black Woman shirt during the Women's March. And like I tell you, that was 2000, I think 18, 17, something like that. So when that happened, before that, like Respect, Protect, Love the Black Woman was maybe my, it was right after Black by Popular Man, so my fourth brand I released, right? Fourth thing I released, the worst selling item I had. <laughs> worst selling item, Respect, Protect, Love the, get out of here, women. They don't care about you. Like, but my first thing, Black Man, my first design I ever released, Black Man, I Love You. That was the first thing I did, right? Because I'm like, this is something I know if I can speak this language, or like we were talking about earlier, if I know I can speak to this, attest to this, make um, comments or even footage around this, because I know what Black Love's supposed to look like, then I know I can push this with my, you know, female populace. So that was first. And then Educated Negro, now that we, since we're in Black History Month, Educated Negro, even uh, piggybacking off of Carter G. Woodson, just a um, very much Harlem Renaissance type of um, a piece that I made for being at Howard too. That was my second piece. And then the third piece was Black by Popular Demand. So Educated Negro was definitely second. And third is Black by Popular Demand. Fourth, Respect, Protect, Love the Black Woman. Fourth, and it's like you over here, like Black, by, Black Men I Love You doing numbers. It's doing well. Like that was always been a great design for me. Then Educated Negro, that does well. It was doing well in the colleges when they want to still say Negro. Like, you know, every other weird year, we niggas need it. It's everything now. It's Educated Negro, okay? <laughs> like, that's what it is. It's a direct play on, like, miseducation of the Negro. And now saying, yeah, I'm going to college. I'm going to be Educated Negro now because basically how long I've been oppressed in my in my learning style and everything like that. So follow me, niggas. So that's <laughs> why so we got the second one. The third one, Black by Popular Man, because now we breaking out, whatever. Respect, protect, love the Black woman is the fourth one. Bam, this shit starts tanking. I'm like, whoa, whoa. I was like, no. Like, no, what's going on? Y'all don't love, we ain't respected for time. This is like 2008, 2014, 15 or so. We're not on that. They're not, they're not on, you know, respect, protect, loving. Then Zendaya wears it. Or she wore, I, I sold the shirts. I ended up selling these stuff at discount, whatever I had to do, just to get, you know, get onto the next item, get onto what I was just like, my pop of the man. Anything I was doing, right? But I need to get rid of this design just for right now. I keep the design, but I need to get rid of all the items for it, right? I just finished selling like the last two or three sweatshirts, right? Whatever it was, $20. So what I, I just need to get rid of it. Like, because it, it's just, it's sitting here for so long. It's sat for so long. Sold the last item. What are the two things that happen? One of the sweaters appears in the Wale video, Black is Gold. The second thing that happens is Zendaya wears it at the Women's March. I don't have any sweaters. <laughs> I don't have any items. <laughs> I don't have anything. She didn't put it on on the Women's March. They didn't put it in Vogue, Glamour, Dog on Harper's Bazaar. It's over here. It's on Team This, Team That. They're like, where do we get the sweater? I'm like, <laughs> I'm just looking around. I'm like, but just going, like I said, from nothing to something. It's like it went from the worst. I was like, We'll go, but I was gonna release it again. I was like, you know, it's okay. You know, they don't have to like you, but they will like you. This I just spent all that time getting rid of it, doing whatever. I'm like, okay, because I just can't house this inventory. But I'm gonna come back another way. And then it went in the music video, and then went on Zendaya's back. <laughs> and then they're like, where is it? Where's the sweater? So now everybody's like, where's the sweater? I'm just like, nobody was even with this. <laughs> Not even like two weeks ago. It went from. It was maybe like a, no, I'll say like a month. It was a month where the video came out at the beginning and then she wore it at the end of the month. I'm like, God, no, I was like, no, I had no nothing. And I had to get it popping immediately. Like luckily I already had my trademark in play. Like I, I have a lot of trademarks too. As you see, I don't know if you've seen on my page, but I posted about that as well. But I have an extensive amount of trademarks, all this stuff of trademarking, just even for that reason too, like something went viral. And you know how many people probably try to go out there and trademark it? And was not and weren't able to because I was already out here. 
I was just always trying to make it to where nobody will take what you got. But I never thought like that it would even be like where we are right now, where we had this influx of black brands again, because it was just me and maybe two others. And I was like, we're going to do this again. We're going to have this. <laughs> it was no black brands out. It was just, and even Hot Greeks Couture. And it was no black brands. So then I told you people was wearing stuff like Boosie. It was wearing my brand. I'm like, no, we can't wear this. You cannot wear letters. Or it said, you know, watch my shimmy. Random guys watching it. What shimmy? What are you talking about? <laughs> Random people was trying to buy that. And I was like, no. Or like, I had the, the frat stuff, the uh, PBS stuff on it. It was just all kinds of really different designs with the big letters. And they trying to just buy it. Can I have it? Why do you want to have this big K on your chest? Like, what? <laughs> that was, it was the weirdest stuff I've ever seen. And it was really on that. So I just make sure that I was just trademarking things accordingly. But just I didn't think it would be to where people would start making black items like this again. Because they already did it. I was basically the eyeball doing it. And then I guess they saw it work working and then here they come. <laughs> so it, that was that was just insane. But yeah, they were trying to put a cap on shirts. Like, I have the, um, or which one I would have. I had the one with the, um, or even the style. It was like crazy stuff and people were trying to buy it. It was it was the craziest things. I would put the phrases or I say whatever and people was really, or just the 1911, people trying to buy it. And I was even having shirts with years on it. That was me. Like, I know you'll see those things. Now everybody can always do that, but putting out there first, me. I put that out there. <laughs> and I was like, I put the year out there because I was just trying to, for myself, I told like some people don't understand for even Greek letter organizations, for females, you're not supposed to wear your letters out to bars to drink. You're not supposed to be cursing in your letters, any of that stuff. For women, I don't, you know, men, they do that anymore. That's why I even made the brand to be out in my letters and supporting and being able to act whatever way I want to act with just leaving the poodle on there or just the year on there. But you know what time it is. It's just with the littlest things and the little stuff is you can't, you're not supposed to be doing all that stuff. Let us, <laughs> you know, I'm over here in the SRO, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to be doing that in your letters. <laughs> I got to make it cool. 